Here we go. Hey, I'm Mark Appleyard, and we're about to watch Extremely Sorry, the flip video. So this is pretty cool uh, claymation that they were doing. I remember going to someone's house who was doing this claymation like in their in their house. You know, I was traveling. I, I went to Egypt and uh, like rode a camel around because I was doing a lot of like travels at the time. You know, I thought that was really cool. Like not just with touring for like skate companies, but like I would do my own little like trips. So look at the, the guy did a great job, man. It's pretty cool. And you know, people said I had a funny laugh, you know, uh, pretty loud sometimes. And yeah, I mean, it's true. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fucking taking all that stuff with me, I guess. Yep. Okay, so this, I'm in the Cayman Islands. I've uh, been going there for years. Uh, I, yeah, I have connections to the Cayman Islands. Okay, so, wow, double, triple sets and shit. <laughs> Dude, back heel. Fucking love a good back heel. Inspired by Jeremy Ray, you know? He's been doing the back heel real nice for a long time. And this, uh, this, let's see this. Oh, shifty. That's uh, in Bakersfield. It's just a stop on your way up to northern california so we would stop and stretch our legs and i just like flew over the spine there and i really like that clip that's in dubai that was like one of the coolest ramps i've ever skated it's so cool it it was big but it doesn't go to vert and uh, didn't have coping it just kind of like rolled over on the top so it was really good for like fucking big ollies and stuff like that and i love the nolly big spin so uh yeah, super stoked on that. It's still there. I just saw some people skated it and someone did like a Nolly Big Spin homage to me on that thing and I was stoked to see that. Uh, so this, you know, front feeble, 180 out, you know. Nolly back, nose blunt. Holy shit. I gotta rewind that, hang on. Dude. Okay, so Nolly back, nose blunt, fucking A, man, right on. All right. Oh, front side flip, nose grind, kick flip 180 nose grind. Oh man. Yo, I have not done that since that day. Fuck it, it worked out. I think I went and I tried to do like kick flip nose slide. And a lot of times my, my front side flips or like kick flip regular nose slides, they want to go more than like 90 degrees. Though. So it was landed on, it was going more and it was like, fuck it, let's go 180 nose grind. And that turned out to be way better. This clip's cool, that uh, photographer, Anton, he's like sliding down the bank after I landed it. That's pretty funny. I was nolly big spinning every chance I got, and that was cool. The photographer, Anton, he's like holding on. There's like these little cracks in the slates that he was just like holding on to to get the right angle. And then he sees that I'm riding away, so he lets go. And he like, he like slides down the thing. <laughs> Okay. Heel flip front nose, you know, a little rare to fakie. That's the park I grew up at, Beasley. Going for it. Uh, Nolly Big Spin, dude, all day. Fakie train, line. So I was pretty hyped to kick with manual that. Nolly 360 heel. Fakie tray, casual. You know, I don't do a lot of manuals. But that, I was hyped on that. And there's a different variation. Uh, red shirt. I'd never wear a fucking red shirt. Kickflip. I really, that was a cool kickflip, man. That was, that was nice. Bastion right there giving me some props. Uh, I like the way I swagged out of that one. Uh, that trick's kind of, you know, I don't do that a lot, but just skating, cruising. Uh, that, that's in Spain, which you wouldn't think that's in uh, Barcelona, but it is. It, it, that's like an American style spot, I feel like, you know, a Jersey barrier with some cement to it. But hey, that spot was kind of cool. Uh, switch flip, Susky grind. I was kind of aiming for like switch flip back tail, but it wanted to do a switch flip back Susky, and I'm fine with that. This ledge is tall. I would have, I could have, you know, I, I should have slid that a little further, but I was going fast, and that's a, that's a difficult spot, I would say. Jeremy Ray spot. Um, he was on the scene a lot back then too, you know, hanging out. He's friends with Jeff and I became friends with Jeremy, really great guy. 
and I always uh, looked up to Jeremy Ray, man. Best frontside 360s in the game. Love the way he does backside heel flips. A lot of my backside heel flips, you know, I, I, I looked up to Jeremy Ray, man, the backside heel flips. I grew up on those videos, uh, the Plan B videos, the secondhand smoke, questionable, uh, revolution, those, those Plan B videos were fucking sick. That was just a ditch somewhere. Don't have much recollection of that. Nolly training into shit, lazy power slide, kind of. Look at this, uh, the hat flies off. 270. I was hyped on this, that felt good. That was nighttime with the generators in Miami. I have a sweater on, which is interesting because Miami, I, I remember going to Miami a bunch and um, it was really humid, man, and hot at night. That ledge was sick, man. It was tall, and it went down a bank, and it looked good. I almost switch crooked it. I would want to go back and switch crooked now, but I've, I've asked if it's still there, and it's not, so... Oh, well. Okay, we used to drive out just to go skate this hub ledge at the Wedge in Phoenix, Arizona. Damn, Nolly backside flip did that proper. Dude, that was a cover right there. Atiba was there, nighttime. That was pretty scary to try. That turned out to be a skateboard mag cover because Atiba shot a really great photo of it. Another nighttime generator mission and we would like hop the fence, big fence. Someone would get to the top, pass the generator up and like someone would be on the other side and like pass the generator down and light that thing up, man. It was like, a, a way of life back then, like all the spots we wanted to skate and we knew we wouldn't get kicked out or there'd be less chance we'd get kicked out if we like went and did it at like 1 a.m. Here we go, this is Dubai, dude. I got the chance to go to Dubai with Volcom and it was an incredible trip, man. We did like one demo over there and like a couple like in-store appearances and uh, like they picked us up in the airport in like a stretch Hummer limousine it's, it was like first class man the whole way through and uh we like went into the desert and did some like we rode camels and like uh drove on like sand dunes and like off-road vehicles and shit and we did some really cool shit this fucking ramp is incredible it's amazing that there's no spray paint on it i think that's just maybe part of the the culture over there is like you know they don't allow that spray paint but you just roll into that thing, that thing, and you just, you blast off. There's a fat kickflip melon grab. Let me just see that. I fucking flew off of that thing. That is a young man fucking doing it right there. That is a young man getting some right there. I was good as fuck. For real. Back three, ah, that was the cleanest one. I'm, I mean, I've done some clean ones, but that shit was clean, man. I was pretty hyped on that. I had a fucking funny-ass hat on. Okay, kick for back tail, hubba hideout. Shove it out. So I kick the back tail that to fakie. I really loved hubba hideout. That spot was incredible. It was tall, and the drop-off was a good size, so it felt good. And uh, with a trick like a kickflip back tail, I always like to do that on like a little higher something rather than lower because it just works out better for me that way. And I remember I kickflip back tailed this to fakie, but I knew Diego kickflip back tailed it, I think to straight. I'm fucking rewinding that. Wow. Look how great Hubba Hideout looks. Man. They used the right amount of slow-mo in the right place there, too. And that was, that was fucking awesome, man. Uh, that's China, dude. I went to China. I went to Shanghai. That was a difficult place to be, dude. We went there for like eight days. There's good skating in Shanghai. We like skated all over the place. We had to like hire a driver to take us all over the place. But I remember that being like really difficult to just do regular things like the food was tough for the whole crew. I remember um, we like ate a lot at random places like the Coffee Bean and we would go and get like some prepackaged like sandwich. Like we did end up finding some decent stuff, but I, uh, it, was, it was fucking rough. 
Uh, front blunt shove, you know, Jefferson, a little squiggly, whatever. Nolly inward heel, you know, questionable manual, but don't matter. Biggie flip, big spin flip. Oh, that spot was sick, man. That was like down in San Diego, one of the trips down south to like the San Diego area. I did some other shit into that. Nolly backside kick flipped into that. And yeah, back three into that. I did some other shit. Nolly big spin back tail. Oh man, you know, Nolly big spin everything. That, Jeff gave me a thousand bucks to do that right there. That was funny, man. Uh, you know, we were just hyped and he was like, we probably got to that spot and I put my trucks on the side of it to see how it grinds and it was real like, oh, I just didn't want to grind, you know? And uh, so this just trick just happened because I didn't want to jump on a grind on that thing because it looked like it was going to stick. So I started to try this and <laughs> randomly Jeff was like, do it this try, I'll give you a thousand bucks. And I fucking did it because I was like, I'll take that, you know? <laughs> I got a thousand. He, he paid me a thousand bucks. He went to the ATM later that day or the next day and gave me a thousand bucks. And I was like, Psh, dope. Uh, so thanks, Jeff. That was cool. This, 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 I was hyped on that. That's Miami. That spot is in the hood. A lot of lurking going on right there. <laughs> and uh, this, that was cool, you know, manual, kickflip manual. That, I was hyped on that. That was like, I learned that at that spot, just doing it. There's gonna be a lot of nollie big spins, I think. Switch tail 270, I was doing a lot of that. I like this clip right near the top. That was cool. That was cool. I like the angle from above. And Arto shot a sequence of that when he was getting into photography. And um, it was a globe ad. Hanging out in a tree, French Fred filmed that. Back nose blind, that was pretty clean. People love that tray flip. I love that tray flip. Let's see that again. Yo. I rolled in as fast as I could. This is in Melbourne. I think it's called the Fitzroy Bowl, Fitzy Bowl. And uh, it's just like a good launch, like kind of like a rollover, but you can fucking boost off of it. Honestly, this is probably the best tray flip I ever did, like as far as like feeling goes and like dipped catch. Look at that. Dude, come on. Look at the, there was a sequence of this. It was off the charts. Look at that shit. Hey. That was fucking insane. <laughs> Let's go. This is Vancouver, the plaza, and I was hyped on that. That was switch as fuck. I was hyped on it. My brother was there. He's the man, and uh, that trick, I don't do that trick that often, and uh, I felt like on that on that ledge, you can, like, I, I felt like I could try anything on that. I did a hard flip back 5-0 grind on that, and I I don't really do a lot of hard flips. I remember this, I, I needed a globe ad, so I, I uh, you know, sequences were being used a lot back then. So I had already done all the other tricks on this thing, the nollie flip 50, nollie flip crook, whatnot. And I was like, I'm gonna do something else on this rail. If I like a spot, I keep going back to it. So I did this tray flip lip slide on this thing. And I like this ride out, that was steep. This, ooh, yeah, I just fucking touched the ground a lot on that. Let's go back to that. Once again, like, I'm just going back to these spots. I had already been here, and I did a nollie backside heel. So I was like, all right, well, what's next? And I did the nollie big spin heel. I fucking ate shit trying that nollie big spin heel. And uh, I think when I landed it and I, like, I put my hands down, I, I just didn't give up. I was like, Psh, let's keep it going. Like, it's all good. And this trape lift nose side right here, I'm pretty fucking hyped on this. Little story on this is uh, we were on our way to go to San Francisco, and I know this is the same trip I uh, in San Francisco I did a kickflip back tail slide shove it on Hubba what we just watched. That was a very productive trip for me because we had left Orange County and we were headed up to San Francisco. We're gonna drive through LA, and so we decided to stop at Wilshire and see if we could skate it that day because you never know with Wilshire that you might get one try you might get 10 tries you might not even get any tries on it because there might be a security guard just hanging out there this day we got i'm gonna be honest with you this shit was like this shit happened like within like five minutes of getting out of the van and we just kept on driving up to san francisco and i'm pretty fucking hyped on this one i was just on point as fuck back then like uh straight up but 
that's what the skate park I grew up on. So I grew up at. So I just wanted to have like one clip or a couple clips at uh, the skate park that I would like spend so much time at as a kid. It's called Beasley. And uh, tray flip 50 on this thing, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this ledge is cool. I probably could have tray flip 5 would it, but uh, I, you know what, at this point I was like, let's just, I felt good about this and let's just keep it moving. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. I fucking love it all, man. I just like the way everything looks and I'm just, I'm fucking, I'm proud of all these parts, man. I'm super stoked on all this stuff and it was a great time, man. So that was extremely sorry, man. The the last of the of the uh, sorry trilogy videos. Some of the best times of my life, right there, man. Like great times, dude. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we did a good job on that one. <laughs> that's maybe the one, dude. Yeah, that's pretty great.